My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello once again. Welcome back to the Japanese theme playthrough on Transport Fever 2 on a little casual easy mode scenario. Now in the last episode we were continuing the expansion outwards towards the uh, machinery factory that we have relatively nearby in the grand scheme of things. And one thing that we were doing is going from town to town with a passenger service to start with. And once we reached the town where the machinery factory is located, we were then going to supply that machinery factory with the raw materials that it requires to produce the machinery and then get them shipped back over to Iwo Jima because they are needed over there. Now we left off, we'd hit the town of Mima as we can see here. Here's our station with one of the trains just coming into the station right now. And we had decided that we were going to skip the next town, which was, I believe, a Kanmar, and head straight over to Sayo. And indeed, we even put a station in Sayo and started building the infrastructure and the tracks. But we ran out of money. Now, I did say at the end of the episode that what we would do is just progress the game just a little between the two episodes so that we can build up a bit of a war chest to try and get as much of this done as we possibly can without having to hang around. Now I've done that, we have about 20 million yen to go, so that should be more than enough for what we're wanting to do, at least I hope it is, any more than that and I think something's going very, very wrong. So we'll press on with the passenger lines today. Hopefully we can get the entire line finished off. And at that point we can think about how we want to work the freight line. Which is going to be running all the way back alongside the passenger line for the most part into Iwo Jima. Now many of you Transport Fever 2 fans may know that the beta for the newest release is available. I haven't yet gone ahead and installed it or opted in on this playthrough simply because there's quite a few mods and I imagine there is the potential for conflict if we were to launch the beta so as it stands that is not yet included but I'm sure in the coming episodes that will change. When I do have plans to uh, opt into the newest beta then I'll let you know and we can have a look at all the new features that that brings as and when the time arrives. But for now, let's bring up the user interface. There we go, as we can see, 20 million. We're in 1861, so making slow progress through the eras. And in fact, I think now's the time to actually go to one times acceleration. I think we're, we're ready to get out of this early era and start moving on to the uh, the more modern, early modern era I think, so we'll do that by progressing the date just a little bit faster, but not too fast, that we miss some unlocks of course, so yeah, here we go. So as we said, we're starting in Mima, here's the station, and if we zoom out, there's the town of Akanmar, the one we said we were going to bypass for now, and here we are in Seo with the station that we put down, and the line but we were unable to take it very far because of financial constraints so the first order of business well that's got to be getting this line connected up towards Mima so let's do that we've made a start as we can see and we're sticking to the same plan as discussed in the previous episode and we're just gonna follow this valley here before going through the mountainside over to the town of Mima so let's press on so the first thing we're doing of course is going through this hillside here I'd, I'd be reluctant to call that a mountainside it's more of a hill than a mountain and of course we want to make sure we're not using invisible tunnels there's no need for those now we've got good speed there the elevation is only two meter difference so that's not a concern so we can go with that and what we're going to do here is straight over this road. It's going to make a rather nasty, in fact it's made a bridge. All the better. Well yeah, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with having a bridge there, I don't think. But could we do it keeping it the same elevation? No. Okay. 
Let's see what's the smallest elevation change we can have that will trigger a bridge construction. It looks like, oh no, it is four meters. I was going to say five, but it is four. Okay, so what we'll do, if we stretch this out, okay, now the the bridge has gone all together. Oh, there we go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, so the only way we're going to do that there is with a very steep elevation change, which we really don't want to be doing. Right, let's take that back. In fact, I think what we will do is we'll just allow the game to make its own determination as to the gradient. Oh, there we go. That's a bridge and it's only a three metre step. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take that. There's a tiny bit of slowdown here. I don't know if you saw that, but the speed did drop to 73. That should be fine. From here, we just need to plow straight through this mountainside. Would you say this is a mountain? No, it's a hillside again. And we can do that with relative ease. We're dropping down to 128 meters, however, I do think we're doing it over a suitable distance so the elevation step isn't too taxing for the early locomotives. So let's just go ahead and do that. That's a big old beastie bridge. That's not even a bridge. Get it right, come on. Yeah, it's a big old beastie tunnel. 1.13 uh, million, but we'll, uh, we'll go for it. We've got plenty to play about with. Right, let me just get the lay of the land here, so. Essentially what we're going to be doing now is following this river and at what point are we going to cut through to Mima? What's the terrain like over here? It's not the best. That would probably result in an entire tunnel and we don't want that. But then again, it's not much better over here by a Canmar. Well, we'll go as far as this farm here and then we'll make a determination as to what point we want to go through over towards the other side of the mountain range or the hillside because we're going to have to tackle it eventually right let's have a look how's the elevation look on that in fact can you stay level yeah you can although you're dropping a bit let's keep that at exactly oh no you, you're climbing a bit i got it wrong there what would 134 look like? Probably. No, it doesn't look too bad. Snaking its way through there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's accept that. Right, let's head back over to Mima and we'll come at this from this side of the terrain. So first thing we're doing, of course, is taking the line straight out from the station. As usual, what that's allowing us to do is expand this station if we want to in the future, have multiple platforms along here and be able to merge all our tracks in in good time without it looking too messy. So a nice straight run out of the station. Right, let's zoom back out. There's the town of Akanmar. So we certainly don't want to be heading that way. We want to be bearing off towards the left. Let's see what we can do with this here. So we're going into the mountains a little bit there, but we might have to do that because we don't want too much slowdown on this corner. So we'll go to there. And I think now we can do a bit of a straight run. Do we want a bridge there? I think that looks quite nice. A little viaduct spanning this little valley. Not too unpleasant at all going up quite a bit however it's over almost 400 meters so I think we're gonna be fine with that although I think what we could do is go straight through here and what if we go straight at the same terrain height 140 right I think what we're gonna end up with here is an almighty tunnel Let's go for a different tunnel type here. Let's go for tunnel type three. It looks a bit too modern for the current era, but eventually we'll catch up. And it does look kind of nice. Yeah, we'll go for that. 
So yeah, it's not befitting of 1862, I shouldn't say, but we will eventually, well, we won't do that. Yeah, we'll eventually catch up with the architecture type. So for now, we're just gonna have to suspend a bit of disbelief. Right, zoom in to build. So what is this gonna do? Let's zoom out. Wow, that's a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay, yeah. I mean, it would be epic, don't get me wrong. And I quite like the idea. But I think it's probably a little bit too much there. Let's take that off. We'll let the game choose its own elevation change. We've got again for that modern tunnel automatically. Oh, we're climbing up there quite a bit. I don't think we want to be doing that. Well, I think what I might do is bring it off to the left. Being mindful at all times of this speed here on this curve. But at the moment, it's pretty good. Right. That's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, it looks fine. So at the moment then, I think we're at about 140 meters here. Let's just verify that. Yes, 140 height at the cursor, 140. And now a line over here. What are we at here? Well, that's pretty much perfect. So we don't really want to be taking this line over here any higher than we absolutely have to. We're already at a pretty similar elevation to where we need to be when we emerge. So I think we might just have to go straight on through. So let's make sure we keep this level. Now this is breaking up the tunnels with you know a little bit of daylight from time to time and that should keep the costs down somewhat because cast your mind back and the first attempt was just an almighty single shot tunnel although looking at where we need to be heading we might just have to do that so i'm trying to line this up here about there i think three million just for that stretch right if we want to commit to the yeah already we're looking at 20 in excess of 20 million 23 all told if you want to do that now i've got no objections to that i mean plowing such a large tunnel through sometimes can feel a little bit gamey but i quite like the idea 23 million okay I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to quickly pause the date progression I'm going to bump it up to four times game speed and we'll just leave it for hopefully no more than five or ten minutes. Get the 23 million that we need and then we can drop this track down. We'll probably also wait to get a little bit more than the 23 because we would like to continue the expansion onwards from Sayo in this episode as well. So I might wait until we get to about should we say 30 million and I think that should be enough where we're heading to after Sayo I think we're coming round to Yamada now that's relatively flat and easy after Yamada we've got in fact do we want to go to Yamada now no I think we'd be better off going straight to Wakayama and then we're only one stop away from Yawatahama and that's our final destination for this little expansion project in the future, of course, we will have a station going to Yamada, a little regional station, but we don't need it on this line, which is, to all intents and purposes, going to form something of a main line for us. Wakayama's terrain isn't great, so finding a place to put a station down here could be challenging, but that's part of the game. And then once we come out here, we're into a nice large city, Yawatahama, and this is going to be another hub for us. I mean, we've got industries aplenty in the area. 
we've got a sawmill, a steel mill, another sawmill here, obviously the machinery factory which is what all this is geared towards. And do we have any coastal industries nearby? Well, there's a forest just here. But yes, we could also have a bit of a harbour in here. It's got the natural look of a harbour here anyway. A little further to the north, a few more forestry industries and a farm, but nothing we need to concern ourselves with immediately. So yes, sidetracked there. Let's give it hopefully no more than as I said 10 minutes I'll put a cut in in a few moments time and we'll pick it back up once we've got the sort of funds that we're looking for to get this completed if nothing else I would like to get to Wakayama today and then we'll do the last hop over in the next episode I think although saying that it's quite a short run the only problem is, like I alluded to a few moments ago, it's where the heck are we going to put the station for Wakayama because it's nestled very snugly between all these hills and mountains and the terrain just isn't looking too clever. Yes, join me again in a few moments when hopefully we have the money we're looking for and we can go ahead and purchase this almighty tunnel and that would be a feat of engineering especially for 1862 but hey it's a computer game every now and then you don't have to be too realistic so yeah catch you in a few moments okay ladies and gentlemen we are back and I've made a very interesting discovery that I never thought was a thing. I've swapped the tunnel type out for the basic vanilla tunnel. And the tunnel now costs around about 10 million less than it did originally. So yeah, we didn't have to wait too long because I was playing around and discovered that. So yeah, 14 million it is. And thank you very much and good night. There we go. So we now have our connection over to Sayo. So I suppose what we could do now to start getting some money off of all that expenditure we've just paid out is get a line between Sayo and Mima. Now we already have a road connection so let's very quickly put down a very very simple bus service just to get things up and running. So we're going from the station, we'll drop off here and we can do a quick city loop like this just using as few stops as possible here because of the overlap of the, uh, the bus stops and I think that'll be enough so let's get this line set up so there to there to there to there to there and finally to there perfect lovely chocolate brown color there for this bus service and we'll keep that because why not and we'll quickly rename this and this is bus service and this is Sio station not sure if that's spelt correctly or not, but uh, oh, S E I Y O, yes, it is. Where's it gone? Oh, it's taking it. Okay, perfect. So let's get a depot so we can get some troikas running along down here. And we'll put the depot there because why the heck wouldn't you? So, troikas, let's say four of these, color them the lovely chocolate color brown set them on the way and now we can do the actual passenger line although I think we're going to need to expand the station at Mima because I don't think we have two platforms I think we have just the one yeah we do just the one although we could probably share initially there's not too many people using this station so it's not really overcrowded so yeah we'll just share so yeah Mima, Mima, dealer's choice over Oh, that's quite a way, isn't it, to Sayo. Wonderful. And this will be what we're naming our trains. Well, I just they're just shuttles for now. Not mime, mimo, my my mima, <laughs> my word. There we go, shuttle. The no the there. Get your words out, man. Then oh, I've done it again. I can't speak. 
has happened. The nomenclature, thank you. Oh, I could have just said naming system, I suppose, and save myself a bit of embarrassment. But yes, it, uh, we'll change the names around to suit a little bit later. But for now, they're all just going to be called shuttles, just as a sort of a placeholder, if you will. Anyway, enough about that. Where are we heading? This way. We need a train. Our depot is all the way over here. There she is. Five vehicles. One of those. Passenger wagons. Not have much choice here. We're using green out here. And we'll go for three. It's quite a way. Not too bad on the speed, but these trains are rubbish anyway, so it is what it is. Let's go for it. And you want to go onto that line. So that train should make its way out and over there now. We do have passing loops here, look, so we can get through into Mima. What we do need, however, is a signal here. Now this needs to be a two-way signal, of course. And we shall have a... I don't know, I suppose it doesn't make much difference. An on-site signal, one-way, no. And we want that just there. Otherwise, the train would never leave the station at Sayo. And that would be no good for anybody. So there we go. So now the train can come all the way up to here in this huge block from here to Sayo. And then if there's a train here or anywhere in this block between here and the next signal, it can wait here. And that's fine. So nobody's... Oh! Speak of the devil, we have our first passenger travelling over. Do we have anybody over here, I wonder? Let's go have a look. Not yet, but I'm sure they won't be too far off. Okay, so. Next destination is Wakayama. Now, as we said a few times earlier, finding an appropriate bit of space to put down the station in here might be tricky. Either way, there's going to be terraforming plenty. I mean, for example, that's the wrong thing. There we go. If we just put one here. Now, we've been using 320 meters, so sticking with that. I mean, look at that. That is all sorts of rubbish. I mean, we could just have a little regional station here. Hmm, possibly. I want it a little bit bigger, maybe 120. It could go over here. Let's have a look. But yeah, look at this. No matter where you want to put it, you have huge terraforming efforts required. It could go on the outskirts. Somewhere. Nope. Right. Hmm. Maybe then it's a case of bypassing Wacky Armor for now. Because that's going to take a bit of thought and planning. So for now, maybe we'll just jump straight into Yawatahama. And that actually wouldn't be a bad thing because it means we can then start supplying this industry here. And then we can think about getting the freight line running back. So, how do we want to head down there? Well, over this little false river here. Past the farm. Make our way into this valley. Follow this road through here. And then we're there. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's get Lenin. Lenin? No, let's not get Lenin. Let's get laying the tracks. Well, first of all, I want to check, make sure our train has managed to make its way through. Ah, uh, yeah, there she is. Two people. Look at that. Lovely. We'll probably have a ride on that for the outro. It's, uh, I mean, for the most part, you're not going to see much this huge two kilometer tunnel that we just built, but there you go. Okay, so yeah, let's get laying, not Lenin, laying the tracks towards Yawatahama. As I said, we will just bypass Yakahama at this point and we'll uh, see what we can do with that in the future. 
Right, so how are we doing here? Pretty good, nice and straight, pretty level. A couple of meters. Um, things tend to work better when you don't do that. Note to self. There you go. Right, bridge over here. I uh, thought it was going to do that because it's one of those as I like to call it, a false river. What if we just step up a little? Stay flat. No, you don't want to do it there. What about from here? That should surely do it. Still doesn't want to do a bridge. Right, okay. Four it is then. That's too long. There we go. So we need something cheap and cheerful. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, we're pointing complete. We're not lined up at all there. Pointing the completely wrong way. Let's just. And in fact, we have an invisible tunnel as well, so we need to reveal that anyway. So that's no a drama. Right, let's see if we can straight shot this. And what would it do? Right, first of all, we want a tunnel there. That's better. Should we have earthworks there? I think so. Earthworks leading to the bridge. What's the gradient like? Not too bad. Hmm. It just looks like it's... Well, whatever, take it. It just looks like it's going up to come back down. And that's a bit odd. But we'll take it. And now you can return to the proper gradient. Okay. Right, let's. Is this a main connection? I don't care if it is, but it's not, so no problem. Let's just get rid of that for now. Make room for our train line. Because we need to get this gradient stretched out as much as possible. Where are we headed? Are we heading the right way? Yep. Perfect. We'll do that again at some point, but for now it's fine. It's just a cosmetic road after all. Okay, so you're climbing up a little. That's fine. Which way do we want to? I think we want to head maybe up this way and down like that. So a bit of a curve on it all, but that's fine. So we're going back into tunnel territory here. And we've learnt our lesson. We can have nice cheap tunnels. Oh my god, look at that elevation. That is crazy. Well, in that case, and I think we're best off just going straight on through even with the cheap tunnel that's still 11 million that's a beast in it what is it two and a half kilometers yeah that explains that one but it brings us to where we need to be So I think we're going to go for about there. And then once we've got the money, we'll take that. And then we'll follow it around here. We're not going to stick religiously to the road, of course, because it's too windy. How are we going to bypass Wakayama? I think we might even just... Do we turn? No, tunnel underneath might look ridiculous. Well, we'll come back to that. But yeah, we're just going to come straight down here. And I think we'll have our passenger station. Where do we want it? Thinking we might, we're going to have rails for these industries. So I want to be careful we don't block anything off. I think over here might be the best bet. What's up here? Nothing. Well, a few industries, but no towns. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. So at some point we need to come over this side of the road. I think if we come along the back of this steel mill. And then in, we should be fine. And we have more than enough room to connect into these two industries. Although saying that this industry could serve this industry with road vehicles. Likewise this one. It's only a short jaunt and we could put a more direct connection in as well. So we wouldn't need a rail here. We wouldn't need a rail here. We would need a rail from here over to Iwo Jima, of course. And we're probably 
Is there a forest? There's one here. I know we have a forest on this corner. We could ship it and have our first shipping line. The other forests are way up here. And if we're using these forests, then we may as well use this sawmill. Yes, I think we might go for boats and have a little shipping service. It's only a short journey. And in the future, we could do what we did on the Portis head map, where we have some sort of canal system through here and maybe even through here as well. And that would make it a lot more direct and cut out a lot of travel time for the ships. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do there. So I'm, yeah, I'm just planning all this out now while we wait for this money. So we don't need to worry about this sawmill or these forests for the time being. We need to get coal and iron down here though. Otherwise, we're getting nowhere. Where's the nearest? There's an iron mine up there. I imagine there's got to be a coal mine up here as well, given the terrain. Lots of oil. Ah, here's our coal mines. Rightio. That's a fair old trek. Do we have anything coastal? Bit of FPS drop there because we've got this waiting to be constructed. It always seems to happen that. Right. Looking for a coal mine along the coast, or reasonably close to the coast, where we could ship it in. So nothing along here. I think we're getting too far away for ships to be viable. Yeah. No, we've got nothing, have we? Nothing we could use. No, so it would have to be those ones up by a Canmar that we're going to use. That's okay. Still not got the money for this. Right, okie dokie. I think what we're going to have to do here is we're going to pause, not going to pause it, we're going to purchase this tunnel as soon as we can, which shouldn't be long. If we just keep an eye on it then, as soon as it goes blue, take the tick. Yeah, as soon as we've got this tunnel, I think at that point we're going to start wrapping up. Uh, it's, this episode, once I've done the editing, might be quite a bit shorter than normal I have no sense of time in my mind at the moment so you'll forgive me if I'm talking absolute rubbish there but it feels like in my mind it's only going to be about 20 minutes but we'll see when it comes to editing and if it is you will have to forgive me um yeah I've got a lot of stuff going on outside at the moment and that's eating into my time so I've, I've had to scavenge this time where I can which is not ideal hopefully things will return to normal soon but it's also the Easter holidays of course for those of you who celebrate of course uh, the main th thing for that is the children are now at home for two weeks so all the usual recording schedules I had set up previously in and around the school times have gone completely out of the window so that's a problem but hey that's only two weeks and it's nice to have them at home isn't it well you say that after a couple of days after the first week you're desperate for schools to reopen this is just filler waiting for the 11.761 million to materialize I mean, we're getting a cash flow of one and a half million. I don't know why it's taking so long to get 11.7. We were close a moment ago. Oh, it's dropped back down again. It really doesn't want to give me this tunnel. Why is this brick freight not making any money? Well, it's got a full load, so it should start making money. And this one just hasn't had any uptake yet, so that's dragging us down. I don't know why the brick freight is suddenly operating at a loss it never used to and that's a bit concerning where is maybe what's happening here is everything flowing freely where's our train okay it's on its way back to say how many do you have on you now none there's really no 
demand for that service at all which is a little bit disappointing right what's going off with this brick freight train you have plenty of bricks on the platform so it's not that let's just in fact let's just fly through some years here where is the train is that it just departing no no it had a full load but we saw it on the list a moment ago so it's got to be is that it yeah okay you make you back into profit now but i'm not sure what happened there maybe a bit of delay getting onto the station or something possibly yeah this one's not making money in fact let's edit this vehicle because there's no need for it to be a three carriage at the moment in fact you can have a one carriage train just for the time being 13 capacity so we must keep an eye on that and as soon as the demand kicks in we'll increase that train carriage length but for now it's fine okay so 12 million we should now be able to afford i forgot where i'd put the tunnel to because i clicked something and it's gone away in fact should we do that maybe not now let's bring it out here where we originally planned to right tunnel type there we go just got the auto save there at the worst possible time there it's gone uh, that's that tunnel and I think like I said we'll leave it right there because I'm mentally exhausted today it's been a long few days but that's my concern we all have our crosses to bear I'm sure two new vehicles the class GV and the St. Petersburg streetcar well we're not using those at the moment so we can disregard that the class GV we can't afford to upgrade it obviously but let's just have a look what sort of impact it's going to have using that sort of locomotive let's head over to our productive lines shall we here's one of them right now manage vehicle good there's two so we can compare them locos please class gv more power more speed as well no same speed what's up so 88 seconds there 61 seconds so yeah it's just a got the, that extra oomph that extra bit of acceleration more tractive effort more power same speed running costs obviously a little bit more expensive and it weighs one extra ton as well slightly lower emissions but shouldn't really be a problem not in the early game and to be fair i never really care about emissions anyway it's easy enough to build your towns to huge sizes without worrying about noise pollution and in fact noise pollution can sometimes help by curbing the town growth so you don't have huge cities all over the place and dragging your CPU to a molten slag heap okay there we go yeah we'll leave it there today what we will do is we'll find our train oh it's just wrong time there the worst possible timing uh, what we'll do we're going to take this cab ride at four times speed for now because it's quite a length and what we'll do i'll put a little cut in here if i'll start saying my farewells because by the time the train's got to the platform we should be ready so let's in fact how much did it make when it dropped off not a lot fair enough all right let's get on board we'll go at two times acceleration not four excuse me mr dear get off the tracks private property right anyway yeah so i hope you enjoyed the episode it's been a strange one for me recording it with all the pauses and the breaks didn't get nearly as much done as i was hoping but there you go such is life i think we're getting close to where we can really kick on the main thing we need to do is get some of these better vehicles unlocked because we really are stymied by the poor performance of the early locomotives and that's something you just have to deal with i suppose i do remember now why i often start my series you know my own personal playthroughs so to speak in 1900 just to skip these early powder puff locomotives so yes i hope you enjoyed it regardless obviously the series presses on 
uh, recording wise next episodes I can't make any guarantees like I said earlier a lot of stuff going on at the moment that's attracting my attention and really limiting my free time which is highly unfortunate but that is life isn't it we all have responsibilities we have to take care of and sadly those responsibilities pay the bills so we need to prioritize but yeah hope you enjoyed it said that three times now I mean it every time uh, it's been one of those days I'm rambling so yeah take care of yourselves ladies and gentlemen as always ta-ta for now